Body gon' grip that, grip that, grip that, grip that Since shots make him get back All that chit chat, chit chat, riff rap, riff rap What is going on everybody? Justin back here with another video Today we're gonna be cleaning the carburetor on my Baja 97cc mini bike I just picked this up last week and I've been noticing the carburetor likes to bog out a lot so what not better to clean it so let's get started now we're gonna remove the piece that covers the air filter so you're gonna come in here start take this screw out it should just get out hand tight okay don't want to lose that because we're gonna have to put that back in okay then you're gonna grab your 10 millimeter and break these loose And then everything should just come off. Just pull these out. And I'll get back to you guys when I get this box off. Okay. Once you get that done, you just pull this out simply. Just like that. And now onto the fuel line. So let's start by getting a flathead screwdriver. And we're gonna have to move this hose clamp right here. And we should just be able to pull it out with the needle nose pliers, so. Okay, start removing it. Okay. Oh, you can already see it leaking. As you guys can see. So, we're gonna pull it out now. Uh, 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 oh, the carburetor is starting to slide out, so that's good. Dang, it's hard. Uh, 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 uh. Alright, there you go. Ran just like that. Alright, it's already leaking. So. We're gonna get our bottle. It's right over here. And then you're gonna start pouring through that. Just like that. So I'll get back to you guys when it's all done. Okay. All the fuel is drained out. Now, what I did was I put a bolt in the line so it wouldn't leak. So now all we have to do is get all these springs that are connected to the carburetor. So. I'm just going to take, try to pull it out first. Uh, let's see, uh, see what I can do. I'll get back to you guys when I can get these springs out. Okay, once you've removed all of the springs, your carburetor should just come out like this. And, yeah, let's go clean it inside. Alright, so, there's going to be some fuel left over in the bowl. So, we're going to grab your 10 mil. And you're gonna break it loose. Dang, it's a lot harder when it's not on the engine. Oh my god. Dang, okay, hold on, I'm gonna break it loose like this. Okay, I think got it. Yep, got it. So, it's gonna come. Yep, it's already coming up. I haven't opened up the bowl. No debris. And it's been sitting for so long. It's pretty impressive. So. Actually, there is a little bit of debris. I don't know if you guys can see it, but. It's not very noticeable. Next, we're going to be opening the jet. So, grab your flathead screwdriver. Hold on a second. Hopefully the screwdriver I'm using can reach it. Oh yeah, I should be able to. All right. It should just come out. Maybe it's not loose enough. Okay, it should be loose enough. Oh, it's just stuck, I think. Tube could come out. There you go. Okay. So it actually seems pretty clean. The motion tube. I can clean it a bit, but this is the jet. We're gonna try to clean this. So I'm gonna go get some supplies so that we can clean it. 
Okay, I am back. So we have the jet, and I have a needle. So we're just gonna push it to see if it goes through. That's not going through. I think it's too big. So yeah, it might be a little too big for this. Actually, it's actually pretty clean. So I don't even think we need to clean this. Let's try the motion tube now. Clean. Seems pretty clean. But. Yeah. These two should be fine. So we're going to put these back in the carburetor. So. This goes up like that. Okay. Now you're going to grab here. So you want it to look like this when it goes in. So, goes in through like that, and then you just push it in. You don't want it too tight or you're going to strip it, so twist it in. Okay, now you just tighten a bit. Okay, now over here, we're going to see if there's any kind of... You can actually see some debris in here. Oh wow. I don't know if you guys can see in there, but it's like clunked up. Let me focus it. Yeah, you're definitely not gonna see that, but it's all clunked up in here. Uh, I have Q-tips, so we're gonna see if that could maybe go in. As you can see, that's the debris. So, trying to make it more thin to be able to go in. That's definitely not gonna work, but we're trying. Maybe it's not getting as much fuel as it's supposed to. Oh my god. I don't know if you can see but on that needle. There's a whole bunch of debris. Yeah, there you go. Yep, that's not good. Kinda looks like old fuel. It's like coming out. It's like rust. Just hope it's not a big deal. That's not really that good. So, I'll get back to you guys when I'm finished cleaning this. Okay, um, I couldn't get anything that could fit in here. Well, I couldn't, like, get anything out. So, I'm gonna find something that could fit in there and clean it. But... In here, this fuel, well, I don't know what to call it, but that runs into here, so we're going to check out how there looks inside. So, you're going to grab your Phillips screwdriver and take these two screws out. So, start right here. And, let's hope it's not that bad. I didn't expect it to be this bad. It's like rusted inside. Keep in mind, the person I bought this from, the 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 mini bike was sitting there for a while. So, so it's a good thing that I'm taking apart and cleaning it. Everything else works fine. It's just the carburetor is just messed up every time I go over a bump, and it just starts to bug out. And one, so okay, so we're gonna take apart. Don't lose any of these. Okay, so there's that. Now let's get the needle and just take this out right here. Take this ring out. Okay, can't lose that either. That's important. Okay, so now as you guys can see, right there. The top left hole is where that line runs into. And you can actually see that there's rust on it. You know, let me do a flashlight on it, so. Okay, there you go. So you can see right there. That you can see the rust on there. So we're gonna try to clean it up.
Yeah, you can see the rare. The, oh my god, it's bad. Yeah, it's like. clogged. Maybe we're not getting that much fuel. You can see it. So I'll get back to you guys when I could, you know, get it as clean as possible. I'm actually gonna spray some brake brake clean. Maybe that might help. So I'm gonna grab that real quick. All right, I got some brake clean. So we're actually gonna be spraying it in here. Okay, that just shot at me. So we're gonna shoot this way. Let's see how clunky it'll get. Oh my god, you can see the rust. Yeah. You can see all the debris and stuff. Maybe that's what's getting in the carburetor and making it not run right. So. Let's see if we can just shoot it in there. Soak it a bit. It's kind of looking a little bit better, but still, I want it all out so the motor could run right. Overall, the car is pretty clean. It's just here, because I'm assuming the fuel just sat there over the past years. So, I will get back to you guys when I, you know, get all of that cleaned out. All the gunk. Yeah. Alright, so I actually found something that will clean it really good. So I have this electrical wire and it has like a lot of wires with it. So it's kind of like a, a metal brush. So you can just like push in there and just start scrubbing it around. And it like brings out all of that rust. So it should work. I mean, it will do the job. So and after like get some brake cleaning it. Yep, it's definitely working. It's bringing out all the rust. So we're going to do that for the seam. For this. And, yeah, I'll get back to you guys when it's clean. Okay, well, I got most of it out, but for reference, this is how dirty it is. Okay, so I'm going to put it in there. Just move it around a bit. Look at all that rust coming out you can see it you can even draw with it pretty impressive okay my cup all right i'm gonna get some liquid in there so oh look at that okay so i don't know if you can see it but hold on put my flashlight on it you can see the rusty water just coming out from the other side and also from here that's some water that was in the carburetor. I mean some fuel, so. Yeah, it's pretty dirty. I wasn't gonna, I wasn't really expecting it to be that dirty. That was just gonna be like, a little bit, but. Now that I got into details, it's really dirty. So I'll get back to you guys when it's like all finished and clean. And yeah. Alright guys, it's looking way better now. Um, I finally got this part clean. So what I did was I used electrical wire, as you guys can see, and I just pushed it in there and all those like bristles, the metal bristles, actually cleaned everything out. So now all we have to do is put it back on, and yeah. Okay, now we gotta stop. Are you kidding me? It's already dark? Alright, well, uh, much better. Okay, now let's get started. Okay. As soon as you got your springs and everything back together, all you do is slide it back on, just like that. Now we're going to get this piece right here, put everything back how it was on before. Oh, actually, there's a gasket for it. I don't know if I still have it. Uh, let's see, because I don't want any air leaks. Uh, when I find the gasket, I'll come back to you guys. Alright, I found the gasket. So now we're going to slide this back on. See if we get it. The gasket's kind of messed up. There you go. Nope. Let's see. 
how we can do this. Yeah, this gasket's torn. I don't have any more on me, so I'm gonna have to use what I have. Anyways, I'll get back to you guys when I have the box bolted up. Alright, I got the fuel line set up right here. And now all we gotta do is fill it up and we can go for a ride. Alright, we're gonna do our first start up. Put choke on, fuel on. Alright, after a while I finally got it to start. So There you guys go. That's how you clean the carburetor. Thanks for watching. Peace.